So I can start. You can start. Okay. Now, I don't know if I'm supposed to introduce myself. Okay. Phil Tellerico, I made the men's 88 Curcio at St. Pius X Parish in Sealings Grove. Sat at the decoria of St. Joseph, and I attend St. Joseph Parish in Mechanicsburg. Anyway, I was asked to do chapter two, page nine through 15. And I was amazed when I read the chapter, what I read, because I've never read chapter two before. I've worked a ton of weekends. And so when I read this, I kind of tried to step away and erase my memory as much as I could and read it as a rookie, a babe chick, you know, because if, if they've never worked a weekend before, perhaps this is a chapter they could read. So I read the first paragraph. And as a babe chick, and I'm a, not a knowledgeable babe chick, <laughs> I guess, okay, or I'm trying to be. I'm thinking this first paragraph is kind of complex. It reads, a kashio is in the first place the proclamation of a doctrinal message. What is that? You know, if I'm a babe chick, maybe I don't know what a doctrinal message is. It, pre it presupposes and demands a doctrinal structure, a solid dogmatic base, whatever that is, which, which will become the foundation for a clear and profound religious conviction. From this comes a solid Christian life mixed with theological truth. So as a babe chick, I'm lost or I'm thinking I'm lost. Then I read the first sentence in the next paragraph. Paragraph, excuse me. The proclamation of the message should be done with simplicity. <laughs> and I'm thinking, you're losing me right away. <laughs> and authenticity. So I start to wonder, but the more I read, I, I read and reread this, these five pages that I was that I'm to give this talk on. And I begin to realize that through the experience of working a weekend, they're actually playing back to me how a weekend works. I mean, there's not no secret in these pages. Um, the, the one thing that, that wasn't messaged in this opening section on page nine of chapter two, they talk about the royals being interrelated, being one depending on another, and that, that's all true. But I think my experience says of working on a team, on many different teams with different mem you know, Curcius does. I find that the membership on the teams are also, inter we interrelate after meeting three or four times prior to the weekend, we become, you know, I think the team and the Royals and, and, and this has been said at many uh, meetings leading up to we, that, we are all parts of one body. I mean, I'm, I'm paraphrasing, you know, St. Paul, I think it's in Romans chapter 12, and I, I think there's a variation on that in what, Corinthians 1, also written by St. Paul. And I thought, well, I think the team members also, you know, even, even if you didn't read chapter two, we all, because we group at the weekends, and it, and it says that in, in, in here about how the meetings should be held. It talks about group reunion, having the Eucharist as close as possible to the weekend. We do that. Um, I, I don't wanna read word for word, but 
the one thing I found was, and I guess it's a, a, a work in progress for the Harrisburg movement, is it's, it specifically says all members of the team must come from the School of Leaders. We're, we're working at that. I don't know that we're there. I know when I work my earlier weekends, I don't think any team member went to school leaders. Now you see a little progression in that, in that direction. But, and I, there, in the opening, it says the Rolos, the Rolos are not everything in the Curcio, but they are absolutely essential. And that's true that you're in the drill room and that's true. But when they talk about in these first five pages, it's almost all about the Rolos, which I, it surprised me. I thought there would be more discussion about the team, the Rolos, the Polanka. It, there's sections for each one of those, but it's mostly about the Rolos. But um, it does talk about, you know, at, at a team meeting, it may be the third and especially a fourth meeting, we should be sharing our royos with the team. I, I don't ever remember doing that in my own experience. I know that you are encouraged, if you've never written a royo before, you are encouraged to find, you know, look for someone who may have made that presentation before and ask them for some tips, some advice, but you always bring your own witness to your role. You, you can't use another person's, uh, you know, his witness or his conversion to Christ. Um, and I, and I, and, and in listening to the doctrinal talk given by Deacon Amarante tonight, he was talking about, you know, the joy in, you know, you have to love yourself, you have, you know, you should love God and others. And that's, that's what, that's all this is about. That's what a weekend is. It's about love of self, love of God through others. I mean, it's, it's, there's no secret. If we find good news, we want to share it. We run to other people, <laughs> you know, Hey, I got it. I got something for you. And that, and that's what Curcio is about. It's, it is about sharing and the weekend eventually gets to that point. Um, it, there's a page or two in the first section. It's an example of one of the royals and how it should be given. I don't really want to really get into that. I'll let people read that if, if you want. Um, but when they talk about uh, some of the other uh, things on the role or on the uh, team meetings, besides sharing a royo, you know, it, it talks about um, you know, the spiritual advisor should give a small talk early on. And and I believe for the most part that does happen at most of our team meetings. We always ask the spiritual directors you know, to speak to us about what we're about to encounter and, and get involved in. Um, there's a section in, in chapter two also about Polanka, the external Polanka, which are the letters, but also the internal Polanka that's provided by the team through their service, through their sharing of love for one another so that they provide an ongoing witness over the weekend to the candidates or to the babe chicks that this is how it should be you know not what you see out in the world but this is what it should be you know love for one another you know 
and we we none of us are perfect, but we should love one another. And um, I, I had an experience. I I couldn't work this past weekend, the men's con the men's weekend that just ended, and I there was a candidate. He lives below Gettysburg over a half hour from where I live. And he, he drove up to my house and hurried up, took his stuff, put it in my car. And he, he was questioning me. Why do you guys do this? Because <laughs> it was a rainy night. It was foggy. It was miserable. And I said, you know, I, it's an act of service. I love you. <laughs> you, know, you don't know that now you're going to learn <laughs> that I love you not just me there's a bunch of guys waiting to see you and that's where I'm taking you but that's that's what it's about you know it starts right even from there I, I couldn't participate in the weekend but I tried to make my point <laughs> during my ride up oh, anyway you know and um One thing for sure, when I when I talk about the weekend being about self, love of self, love of God, love of the other, if you think of the royals that are given on each day, day one is dedicated to self. Day two, the royals are dedicated to God, Christ. And day three, it's about going out to others. And each day gets more intense. And we know that <laughs> if you've ever, if you know, if you've worked a week and you know each day gets more intense. I, I remember after one day, the rector is supposed to meet with the table representatives and have a talk. And the one time that I was a rector, they wanted to leave. <laughs> this is, you know, why are we even here? This is ridiculous. I said, give, give it another day. And by the end of day two, we had them. <laughs> you know, that usually is what happens. And, and that's because they've been open to Christ, you know. And I don't know if day one is so, you know, you, you try to, each day, like like I said, does get more intense, but knowing yourself is very important. You know, you have to know yourself in order to know God. God created us, created me. I have to know me, the creature that God created before I can open my heart, I think, to open my heart to God and to others or to others and then to God, you know, it works. I think it can work both ways. Um, but what I wanted to do for sure is just list all the royals before I, I finish. But there is the spiritual royals, habitual grace, actual grace, the sacraments, obstacles, and a life in grace. And, and they, I, I've listened to the, these many times, and they do a very good job of opening the doors to who God is and why God is. And then the five meditations, if you re, if you can recall, especially you guys that, that may have worked the recent weekend, day one, one of the first meditations is the prodigal son. Know yourself, you know? And that, that's one of my favorite passages in the Bible. I have a picture of it in my family room. You know, uh, I just love the prodigal son. And, but again, if you look at the ideal, the lay person in the church, piety, study, you know, those are all, targeted to self. This is how, where, and who you should be. 
and then the next stage five roll goes, um, let's see. Well, I gave I gave the spiritual rollers already, but the, the next five lay rollers are action leaders, study of environment. Or no, study of environment is on day five. But uh, action, you know, we get, you kind of start to open the door to that fifth day. And then the fifth day is like study of environment, Christianity and action, Curcio stuff beyond the Curcio, and then total security. And that is what opens the door to others. And I think that's what makes the weekend what it is. I don't think I've hit the last day without tears in my eyes yet. <laughs> and I'm not ashamed to say it. I'll <laughs> say it to anybody. And I have told people that I, you know, people see, you know, they cry. I, I'm a crier. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, one thing that doing this exercise showed me is that the way we handle a weekend in the Harrisburg diocese is we are pretty much by the book. I mean, I, like I said, I had never read chapter two before. The team meetings are very helpful, <laughs> I find, especially if you're a babe chick and it's your first, maybe the first weekend you work, the first or second weekend you work, those team meetings are invaluable. I, I, that's my memory. Now, I've done it enough times. I, I you know, I, I think in, in, if you've done it enough times, you know what to expect a little bit. Um, Bill was Bill. You were talking earlier about being a coordinator many times. My first Curcio, I was in the kitchen, and they sent me upstairs to the coordinator room. I have been coordinator or assistant coordinator maybe eight times since. <laughs> I don't even want to be coordinator anymore. <laughs> you know, it's it's you know I want to because you're not in the drill room, and I think that I like being in the drill room now. It's, it's where the it's like they said, you know, the rollos are important. <laughs> yeah, when you get to the eight, you you just go to the drill room or you try to. <laughs> you hope that's where you'll be assigned anyway. But you know, I I think the drill room, the rollos do have an importance, especially the witnesses given during those rollos are very important because I've always associated, and they can take no offense at this, <laughs> but when you get theological, to me, that's when you get sterile and technical. It's when you hear a personal witness that it's, it's, that's where it's simplistic. To me, that's where the simplistic part of Curcio comes into play is when you give your personal witnesses during a rollo, the rollistas. And, and, and I think the team members too, you could provide a witness if you're even in the kitchen, you know, at lunchtime, breakfast, whatever, you have opportunities throughout the weekend to give a personal witness to your faith in God. Um, I was, uh, I'm, I'm going to end with a small story about this difference between theologic and giving a personal witness. We have a thing at St. Joe's where every month we have what's called a dinner for eight. St. Joe's is a, one of the larger parishes. I mean, I, I, I have sat in St. Joseph for years when my children were younger on the left side of the church, knew everybody. My wife and I decided to go sit on the other side of the church. It was like I was in another parish. <laughs> I didn't know a soul. 
So now we have these dinners for eight and it's to get people who hopefully don't know one another together. You have a host and you just talk and you know, and you open up to others. On our first dinner, we meet this couple. The husband was a theology major at Gonzaga University and he ended up teaching theology. So he talked a little bit. His wife gets up, Katie, and she gives a personal witness and everybody fell in love with her. <laughs> no offense. <laughs> But everybody fell in love with her. What are you saying about my uh, doctor? <laughs> no, no, no. no, I'm just looking at you like you were looking at Dave. <laughs> but, but everybody fell in love with Katie because she gave a personal witness and it was powerful. You know, I, it was it was just awesome. And you know, her and my wife are now friends on Facebook. I don't go on Facebook, so I don't know anything about that. But they're friends on Facebook and they chit chat back and forth, keep in touch. But to me, that's the difference. It's 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 our personal witness that really means a lot during the weekend, during the royals, and even outside the drill room. You know, and I and I think based on my experience overall. I think we've done good. And I've gone to some women's closures, and I think the women, you know, I could see that their weekends wrap up pretty good too. <laughs> so I think uh, that's that's all I've got. Um, I know we're supposed to be out of here by eight thirty, but that's all I got. And I just thought reading this was was helpful to me to learn that we, you know, there's a method to the madness. <laughs> you know, it's, it's right here in the book. I mean, I learned it with the door slamming me in the head. You know, that's what experience kind of is. <laughs> but but this was very helpful to me. Thank you, Phil. All right. Thank you.